Okay, welcome. This is part three and the final one for our review of the Anycubic Mono X 6KS. We're going to be slicing the model and we're going to be printing it for you. And of course, I'm going to be using it in my diorama after we're all done with it. So I have you follow that too. So let's get going right now. Okay, this is where we left off on part two. Uh, we have our bard here that I'm going to be using in their t our tavern that I'm making. And uh, we've already um, scaled her up to 150. She's all ready to go. She's all, see, you can see all the supports on it. So they're all supported well. And I went through the test to check to be sure everything was done right. None of them is sitting out in the open. So we should have a good... We should have a good build here. So what we're going to do is uh, save it right now. Uh, don't forget, this is a Anycubic Photo Mono X 6KS. Now always be sure you got the right uh, machine highlighted. Now you got to be careful this S. There is a Anycubic Photo Mono X 6K without the S. This is the S. So we got that. We'll use a default. That's all the versions we have. You can manage your resin. You can change uh, your uh, resin types. In, uh, but I leave everything standard. I do not usually default everything the way it is. So, and especially here, slicing parameters, I don't do anything with that. I leave it the way it is. So we're going to hit this button right here. This is going to slice it and get the program ready for us. And that was quick. And as you can see, it's going to use this many millimeters of resin. Here's what the price is about. And the estimated time is going to be 4 hours and 15 minutes and 49 seconds. So what we're going to do is save it. So you have your little USB uh, stick in your computer. And we're going to go find it right now. It is right there. On me, it's a drive E. There's all the things. You don't touch any of those things. Do not touch any of that stuff. That's all stuff for that uh, needs to be there. So we're going to change it. We're going to go 32. I'm going to go Bard plus 150 to tell me to scale. And I'm going to save it. It's going to save the file. And we're all saved. Next, we're going to pull it out and bring it over to the 3D printing machine and get you a print. Okay, once we got our menu open, we got our stick stuck in it, and we're going to hit print, and we're going to find our bard. Oops, sorry. Here it is, bard 150. Just click on it. When we get ready to go, we're going to click on that. So once it's all printed, we get it all cleaned off with the isopropyl and we put it under the heat lamp or the UV lamp for a little bit and this is what we have right here. So now we got to strip all the uh, supports off and we get the supports off and this is what it looks like so far. So don't forget, if you want to see this thing being painted and being used, follow that link up on top or look for this link up on top. And, uh, and don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that notification bell. And we appreciate you guys watching. Any comments, leave them down below. And we will see you when we finish out our tavern.